Hello and welcome to another Dota 2 game for 4PL Cup number 18. That's right, uh, we are in a number 2 or 3 round, I'm at the moment not 100% sure. Um, if you want to check out the brackets, I have linked them in the chat and you can also find them on the 4PL website. And if you want to wonder how you can get there, well you can go to facebook.com slash 4PL.dota2. Uh, you can go on to their website from there and don't forget to like them in the process because that's of course very important to do. Uh, because if you like people on Facebook, well, not people, I mean um, organizations, etc., then they have extra numbers to show to their sponsors, meaning that their sponsors see, oh, okay, oh, look, people like this, so maybe we should invest some more in Dota 2. And we want people to do that, so go like all those things on Facebook. Maybe not just for PL, but just everything. It works. Guaranteed. Do it. Okay, so uh, we have got a match, and uh, we have got a best out of one match. It is, uh, like I said, the 4PL Cup. The winner takes it all 400 Euro 2 Weekly Cup. And we're seeing Fnatic NA, Fnatic North America, taking on Dominant Gaming. And they are going to be on the Radiant side, and we're going to see the uh, Undying, the Bat Rider, as well as the Bounty Hunter and the Nyx Assassin. Uh, sorry, uh, un Undying Bat Rider and the Nyx Assassin, and the Magnus being banned out because Bounty Hunter, of course, picked up as the first pick for Dominant Gaming. Darcy and Jakira will be the heroes picked up by Fnatic, and uh, we'll see how they are going to be faring with those as Dominant Gaming. I mean, they have their whole map yeah. open for them. They can go for any strategy that they want because Bounty Hunter Radiant fits in so many different types of uh, of games that um, I mean it was so open until they picked up Luna Luna is a hero of course that we see uh, mostly in trial lanes mostly in trial lanes that want to start pushing fairly early on of course with that Luna, bless Luna Blessing you can do that and um, well on trial lanes which other hero do they want to have with their trial lane? It's basically the question. Jakiro already gone. Uh, they know that maybe the aggressive trial lane, if they're going to go for an aggressive trial lane, it is, or just a trial lane, is either going to be against the Darkseer or against the lane together with the Jakiro, and then either one or two heroes on top of that one. So uh, maybe something like a Shadow Demon wouldn't be a bad idea to have. Uh, we'll see soon enough. They've already got the Bounty Hunter, of course, a hero that just makes sure that you get more gold for those skills that you do. Meaning that mid game is probably where dominant gaming wants to be uh, dominating slightly. Oh my god, it made a pun. I should I should try not to make those. Sorry. Anyway, they're taking into their bonus time. They only have 45 seconds left, and uh, mm -hmm. Fnatic has not used their bonus time just yet. Sorry, I have to mute my phone. There we go. Now you, sh you shall not hear those sounds anymore. And there's the Rubik. And look at that, Fnatic, they, I mean, they took their time. The time that uh, Dominant Gaming took to think about their Rubik pick is the time that Fnatic used to think about what pick they were going to go for. Naga Cybern, second time we see him today in the second game, so it's quite nice to see. And we have, of course, a lot of heroes that work well together with the Naga Cybern and Jakiro. Jakiro himself already works out wonders with that Naga Siren because of course you cannot miss an ice path if you are doing it on an ensnare target but also something like a Lashrak and a Lina would be nice heroes to be having a get, uh, next to that Naga Siren uh, we actually have a Keeper of Light being banned out together with a Chen we have got a, a Queen of Pain and a Gyrocopter being banned out by Dominant Gaming uh, they picked up the Rubik so another support that we see a, a lot of uh, though still no hard disable apart from the telekinesis, I'm quite surprised. Well, quite curious to see what they are going to be having as a third hero with that. Though it doesn't, they don't need to have third heroes. Luna and Ruby could be on a dual lane. I'm kind of expecting to have a tri lane because Luna is a very squishy hero, and especially if you already know that you might be up against the Jakiro and the Naga Siren, that will not be easy to deal with. So you kind of need to have that extra defensive hero there to have. And talking about defensive heroes, maybe we're going to see a Shadow Demon, perhaps. Still. Would fit on either side, actually, having said that. And again, Dominant Gaming, they take their time. They only have only 20 se They only have 20 seconds left until their bonus end, though. That's all they have. Uh, that's all they need. Also, they ban out the uh, Invoker. Of course, Fnatic still needs a solo mid lane. We have, of course, already got the Queen of Pain being banned out. 
And wow, these bans and picks. I like what Fnatic is doing. They're just making sure that Dominant Gaming is not getting any extra time to think about their draft. Uh, but apparently they don't need it either. Uh, we've got two strong dual lanes actually picked up by Fnatic. Shadow Demon and Kunkka work very well together. Of course, Disruption followed up uh, with a Torrent. Uh, should be uh, should be uh, hitting if you time it properly, of course. And that uh, that should be a game that we are gonna see. Uh. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that uh, after this game we're gonna have more good games to uh, to watch for the Four Pure Cup number eighteen. Uh, for the people wondering, oh, that's already said in the chat also. There we go. Um, but yeah, they uh, the for for Dominant Gaming, they picked up the Tinker, so they have a strong mid lane hero uh, for themselves, and they picked up the Lushrak still. So Lushrak, uh, together with the Rubik, works really well, of course, as well. I mean, for exactly the same reasons. I, I keep saying it. I know. I mean, you've probably heard them, uh, heard th what I'm saying like zillions of times before. I hope you didn't, though, otherwise I would be saying it for nothing, but, you know, the Shrek sound to follow up on the telekinesis, it's, it's nice to have. It's definitely nice to have. And, um... 30 seconds to battle. We'll see how the lanes are gonna go. We're, we won't have an aggressive try lane by the looks of it. We'll just have a try lane up against the Bounty Hunter. Who's already gonna have to deal with that sentry ward there, and is gonna have to deal with another one uh, right there. In the inventory of the Jakir, we're gonna have a, a try lane up against a Darkseer. Darkseer, who made sure that he was in the jungle earlier on, so he warded everything. He's gonna make sure he's safe. At the same time, Rubik will notice that the creeps are I not spawning, nice, so we'll be uh, putting a sentry ward down, and we'll be able to just counter ward that one. If he's very lucky, he'll place the ward like right there-ish, and then he'll have both of the wards gone. But you know, it's possible, but ah, uh, it's not really a common place to put down your sentry ward. We'll see if he's gonna go for it. But let's uh, let's see who's playing what. Uh, as I said, for Fnatic, we have got two strong, two strong dual lanes. We've got, of course, the Kunka played by Smurf. It will be Whitebeard for Fnatic and Aya that will be playing the Shadow Demon, and they'll be up against the Tinker. Tinker on uh, Dominant Gaming, who's gonna be played by Bleaking. Uh, who's already being harassed away. I mean, this is going to be a tough trial to deal with. And, I mean, the only thing that Whitebeard has to do is just stand there. And he is not going to come close. He can't get in range of the here of the of the creeps. It's just it's just too risky. Uh, on the uh, top lane for Fnatic, we have got Derp Derp playing the Jakiro. Is the Tobacco. Josh Tobacco that's playing the Naga Siren. And um, they will be up against the Bounty Hunter, who is played by Work Work. Reminds me of Pionzo, Tinker, Troubles, Disruption was there. Here comes Thor though on his track, rotating from the bottom lane and now helping out his Tinker, making sure that Tinker is getting some farm up. Uh, though Tinker himself, I mean, he's not ha getting any experience nor last hits uh, yet, but right now he will finally get something. As on the bottom lane, we've got uh, KVH playing the Darks here for Fnatic and A, and we've got on uh, the Radiant side. Uh, we've got uh, Ike playing the Rubik, and he is supporting Excited Child, played by Luna. And again, this is a very safe uh, safe lane for a Dark Seer to be in. I mean, especially with the Shrek now gone, he should be able to stay alive. should be able to harass Rubik by the looks of it even uh, a bit. And maybe even Luna. I mean, Luna might be a ranged hero in, in spirit. Oh, wait a second. They see him. They have got a sentry ward again if they want to use it, but they don't want to use it. They don't want to use it. Well, just two heroes, not enough, not enough burst damage, and he was still full HP. But yeah, he, he can, of course, he, he's considered a ranged hero, but still has to come pretty close to the creeps. So look at that, the Iron Shell is still actually hitting it uh, if she comes a bit too close. Just, it, it just, it's a small difference. She can hit without getting hit by the Iron Shell, but it's, uh, yeah, she have to th has to think about it extra. So, uh, nice hero to have against that. As we have in the meantime, Smurf, he's on 9 for 2 last hits. And Tinker, he is on 5 for 1, so actually managed to uh, catch up slightly as we have a Regen Rune on the bottom lane. They know it's there, they're not going to go for a disruption here on the, on Bleaking, and there's the Torrent following up. He has to try to get away, Lashrak's on trying to help out, right click still to go, one more needed, doesn't hit, get it, missed from the low ground, and that's not going to be a kill going the way of Fnatic. That's actually going to be a lot of harassment going the way of Kunka, and Tinker actually still dies. That was a blind torrent from the low ground that got him in the end, so nice kill there by Fnatic still. 
Even though they got harassed a lot by that edict from the Lashrak, but a kill is a kill, and the first blood does go to Fnatic, and, and especially it goes to Smurf, a hero that's already in the mid lane, so already is getting a bit of a edge there with the levels, getting a bit of an edge with the last hits, and apparently doing uh, well, doing well because he also got the last hit on the uh, first blood, so more gold going the way of him as Whitebeard is gonna come in from the side, and they're gonna go for Tinker again. Disruption to start off with here comes the torrent as well, and it hits. And a soul catcher on there. A couple more right clicks needed, and they will get him. No, and don't get him yet. And actually, it's Thor that is going to be able to pick up Smurf, or is he? One hit needed, and the edict. He just walks right in it, and he goes down. Now Thor going to have to get away. He gets a soul catcher on him, but Whitebeard, he can't deal with that creep wave. Has to back out. And that was Smurf. Just his advantage that he had is just putting it to waste, just walking right into that edict and actually dying. He TP's back, so he's back on top of the lane shortly, but. Uh, it is still painful to see, and it all started off with a lot of harassment here up on the Tinker, who has to be careful, because one more torrent, and he should be dying. He doesn't have anything, his bolo is being brought to him. It's just still a walking courier, though, so it's not as fast as it, as it might be. As in the meantime, Jakira also picked up a uh, dust. A sentry ward is being placed, and now work work actually finds that out, so he's going to be careful. Knows that the other sentry ward is probably gone by now, since it is uh, four minutes into the game, and sentry wards only last three minutes. But uh, he is still—I mean—he is still having a fun time. He's—he is getting the experience, and the experience is what he's here for. They realize where he is now, right now, though. And there is there. Is there more ice bath? Gonna follow up. Dual breath going through as well, and they might actually get him here. But he is out of range of the sentry ward, and he's just gonna try to back off. He realizes he's not visible when he was on that side, and he got back to base. As uh, Jakiro, we just won ice bath. Mm, I don't level one. It got nerfed. It wouldn't have been able to do it. Never mind. Never mind that. Word upon word upon this middle lane. They want to see everything. Rubik actually rotate, rotating middle. Having uh, Lashrak walk uh, all the way back to base. In the meantime, still not that much farm here for the Tinker. The thing about a Tinker is though, like he will get his farm up regardless. At some point he'll get his boots to travel. It's just uh, depending on when he gets Radiant it. Radiant Stop Tower is under attack. And how long you can postpone him from getting it, basically. As we have uh, Luna not really willing to leave her tower all that much. He's got 29 for 13 last hits. Darkseer, 13 last attack. hits for him. It's too risky for him to try and uh, creep skip here because, I mean, there's just uh, supports around there that uh, might be able to uh, to kill him off. As we actually have got the Rubik coming in. Telekinesis is there, dropping in towards range of the tower, but the range creep is still there, and he makes sure that there's no hits upon KVH. And he's gonna be fine. Still not that much mana to throw in the harassment, and that's just, I mean, that's just putting the fear on the dark sea. He's level 6 though, he's getting the levels, he's doing nicely, a lot more nice than uh, the Bounty Hunter is, since Bounty Hunter is still level 3. In the meantime, mid lane action again, the track's done, so it's gonna be enough. There's an X marks the spot, and it, um, not sure if it was, um, helping to get the kill, but it got the kill regardless. And the kill goes to Shadow Demon this time. A lot of harassment going off on Smurf as well though, and the Edict as well helping out. But uh, nothing more, no rockets, no lasers to uh, to do anything there to uh, to help out and blinking. He's just going to try to continue doing what he did. Going to continue trying to, to stay here, stick around, get experience, get a bit of farm if you can. Illusion rune going the way of the shadow demon. He'll uh, have that one. Uh, hello. And he gives himself to, uh, to Smurf. Well, hello, Kunka says. So we have sentry wards that are being placed there that can counter the sentry wards and can counter the normal wards. I mean, it's counter ward upon counter ward. Map control is the game. Map control is the name. And it's very important for, uh, oh, Ike, uh, gonna have trouble, disruption, or telekinesis. Not happening up into the high ground. Surge after him. Level 4 versus level 6. He's in some trouble, and there's nobody close around enough to, t to help him out. He will die. There he goes. Quick kill. And no counter ward on the board just yet. Maybe next time. But yeah, map control is important for uh, for our for dominant gaming. And they need to get those uh, ganks up at some point with that bounty hunter, and to do that, they need to know where everybody is. They need to get ahead. Get that map uh, map control. So we have still, I mean, no aggressive trial, and the difference with with. Um, Last game is definitely noticeable in case you are. We're here for that one as well. I mean, an aggressive trial lane just. I don't know. I like it. I just like it. 
Dirpter were coming in towards the uh, top lane to try and help out. Tobacco and Dirpter are hanging around there. Invisible Bound attack. Shield there as well. I'm actually gonna throw some harassment up on Tobacco, but look at that difference. Level 4 versus level 7. Nice distraction so still though, but I stab dual breath up on Thor. And Derp Derp is the one that has to be careful right now. Edict still uh, helping out on Thor. Derp Derp gonna walk past the tower. Here comes more though. Is there gonna be more Lashrax done? Bam! Kill. There it is. Thor now I having two kills for himself already. Up. And that was no track because Bounty Hunter is of course still level 5. But he was around there and he actually got level 5 with that kill. So a nice one for him to have. We're getting some help up on the lane. Yes, it was only a support being taken down. But every little bit helps in the meantime on the bottom lane. More help also, this time it's uh, for the other solo lane on the other team. It is the Shadow Demon that is uh, having an invisibility rune trying to help out his uh, darks here. The Iron Shell up on the invisibility rune, of course, if they step away from the tower, it's going to be very annoying to deal with. But it's also going to be giving his uh, location away slightly. But it looks like it looks like he can't get anything done with it, or at least nothing special anyway. Exclamation marks coming out. And they, they can't go for this. The telekinesis there is just too risky and uh, Whitebeard is actually visible again so he'll be he'll be backing off. And uh, we'll see um, on the top lane the tower dropping. Dust actually going out. Ice path as well. They just want to get the tower and they get it as well. Edith going through. Dual breath. Work work. And a lot of trouble here. And might actually drop though. No A to tangle. Gonna be a save there. Might same cannot be set for Derp Derp. One more hit. No, not one more hit. Sick Charge has helped him get the life for a little while longer as now Tobacco is going to try to chase down Thor. But uh, he has to deal with those creeps and it's too risky to continue chasing it all the way. Especially since uh, Bounty Hunter was actually on his way back again. And this is actually almost level 6 but not yet. Might try to go for it. But it's only level 1 Janata. Cannot go for it. Maybe he can go for it together with the Lushrak but he's not going to show himself anymore. In the meantime, um, Tinker is not happy, as you can see from the minimap. Uh, it's all covered in yellow. And uh, Kunk actually got him killed Radiance off. Both, both being used for that one. Attack. Shadow Demon um, not able to, uh, well, able to help kill him off, I guess. No, but no supports around there to help leaking out there. Supports were on the bottom lane, on the top lane. We saw the Shrek, of course, earlier already. And we saw Rubik earlier already, too. So that left uh, Bleaking to be by himself. Yeah, he's got his boots. He's got his bottle. He's not, as sa not that sad. He died twice only. But it's still not that great a start you can, that you can have. It's a very difficult lane to deal with, though. In the meantime, we're going to have... Uh, the Luna is actually already having her Helm of the Dominant. It might actually be going for a Hand of Midas. We'll see though. Maybe might be going for Power Threads. We'll find out soon enough. Is it actually Bounty Hunter walking through the Tension Ward? There's the disruption. X marks the spot on the Torrent. Torrent's actually way too early. The Monic Purge still there though. They're gonna try to do it because the Soul Catcher's still there. Boat gonna run in and hit. And that's a kill. And now Thor. Gonna try to go for something. The Shrekstone still hits. Ice Path. Gonna not do anything there. Gonna miss, and they will try to get some more. But the Hay showed up on Smurf. Make sure that he gets away, and Thor is not gonna be uh, going down anymore either. They're not gonna be able to get a kill anymore. But Bounty Hunter still drops, and that's essentially word. Torn, blinking, trouble, bam, you're dead. To the with and that is uh, gonna be Smurf finally backing off. So we're not gonna be there in time to do anything against that. And he even had a st uh, stun off cool on the cooldown, so couldn't do anything there anyway if he was was there earlier. Exclamation mark coming off on Thor, and they actually didn't continue clearing out that observer ward, interestingly enough. And because of uh, Fnatic having that ward there, we see Darks here instantly being so very careful. Going back all the way towards his tower, and he's actually gonna Radiant have help. Smurf as well as Whitebeard coming attack. in. They smoke up. Let's see where they're gonna go. If they're gonna go towards the bottom lane, but then by a small detour, and, and maybe try to catch uh, Luna inside that jungle. Luna, who has got a Lunar Blessing up on there. No Radiant bouncing blades yet. So the farming the attack. jungle is not gonna go that easy. They realize someone is supposed to be there. Hello, Luna. And that is gonna be Rubik taking a lot of damage. Might actually die already before anything else happens. That Iron Shell might be able to do the job. The Monarch Birds up on. Uh, up on the Luna, but the Eclipse goes through, and it is a dark scene that drops. Luna still goes down as well, though. Thor on the way out. Might be going down. In the meantime, Fade Bolt going through as Rubik trying to do what he can. Still goes down to the Kunkka, the Shrek. Is he going to stay alive? One hit needed. Torrent might be able to do the job, but it's not going to hit. Positioning not flawless enough, and that's going to be 2-4-1 in favor of Fnatic still, but that's probably not the smoke up that they wanted to have. Having their solo offlane getting killed off. At the same time, they did kill the Luna, the hard carry of the uh, other side, the hard carry of Dominant Gaming. 
So it's not bad at all. In the meantime, Tinker has continued to farm, this time on the bottom lane. And uh, the Asians are stacked once. The Central Ward's gonna drop again away soon to make sure that uh, there's gonna be more stacks again if they want to try it. As a uh, bounty hunter Central Ward there, Soul Catch drop on there, Ice Path following off, and that's just such a fast skill, and that boat wasn't even needed. That Soul Catch just doing so much work for them. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. In the meantime, Rubik's just trying to do what the support does. Warding. He's level 6, though. He can actually steal some spells if he wants to, if he gets in, clo in a range of heroes. Uh, we're actually Middle wow, wow. Tower has fallen. Yeah. Sorry for that. I um, I almost forgot to switch the net worth. I know. It's 13 minutes in. It's about time I do that. But no surprise that we see Fnatic's heroes uh, high up on their knights. Uh, ooh. I mean, actually, Naga Siren high up on there as well as... Uh, as the Kunka Naga Siren, of course, we didn't really talk that much about them, but the combination was still there here on the top lane, of course, uh, with the Ice Path uh, and the uh, and the Ensnare. As we're gonna have Excited Child getting put into disruption, Soul Catcher, Torn first, Soul Catcher now there, and that's gonna be a kill. Kunka getting it, and that's gonna be Gang Team 101. Now that Naga Siren can farm by herself, Jakiro leaving that one, and then he's gonna be able to help out. The rest of Fnatic, and they have four heroes on this bottom lane. So they're gonna force everybody of the dominant gaming towards that Dyer's bottom lane, or at least make sure that they're not gonna be able to gank anybody up on uh, the Radiant's other side of the map, which would be Tobacco, who's attack. still farming on this Naga Siren, who's gonna go towards a Lincoln Sphere by the looks of it. And just to make sure that Lightning is not gonna hit, that Lucent Beam is not gonna hit, and they see Thor. Disruption, Soul Catcher up on there. Is there gonna be more Ice Path? Not gonna hit. It was a bit too late, a bit too far out of position for the rest of Fnatic to follow up on that one. And TP incoming. Excited Child, he's got an Eclipse again. Might be trying to go for something. In the meantime, Taro still dropped, so that was the uh, last year when Taro was still standing on the side of Dominant Gaming. Radiant structures are As we have the Tinker, 1500 gold in, there in his favor, uh, or in his wallet right now in his favor. It's not that much gold in his favor, it's uh, 10k gold actually in favor of Fnatic uh, in North America. Tobacco getting harassed a bit, but he is very tanky, so he's going to be fine. As uh, we see still four heroes around here, I mean, they can just roam around here trying to find kills. And at least, I mean, even if they're not getting kills, they're making sure that Luna can't farm. Because if she's going top, they'll know, but Tinker is there right now, so she probably won't go top. If she's going mid, they can go mid. And if she's going bottom, they might try to gank her, but they actually went mid now. Gonna try to go for the bounty hunter. There is the surge up. There's the X marked spot. Torrent and Boat to follow up on that one. The shack's done. Gonna hit. Still, Ice Path going through and work, work. Still alive for now. Doom Breath going through though, and that's two kills going the way of the Jakiro. And I didn't even have a, um, have a sentry there. That was just all AoE damage. And they have that. They can do that. Radiance Quick kills going the way of uh, Fnatic and RC, Fnatic uh, North America, I should say. And in the meantime, Tobacco is also pushing slightly Radiance on his uh, top lane. Tower Deirdre Tower is going to be dropping fairly soon. We've got the Lincoln Sphere recipe in the uh, courier, so we'll be up on uh, Tobacco fairly soon. Kunka in the meantime got himself a Demon Chance, might Radiance be going for Chrysalis. Uh, an item that we see a lot of him, of course. Uh, we have Vacuum Ice Path, hits on two, the track's done. Gonna follow up on Tobacco, but can they actually do something with it? Song. And this is Excited Child being out of position. We can put down his Eclipse, though. But he's gonna be standing in Mech Repire and Ice Path. He cannot do anything. He is gonna go down before anything else happens. At the same time, the track also drops to the Jakiro. And that's gonna be Rubik going down as well. We can take on the way of Smurf. And that's not going to be a Tinker with Boots of Travel. Calypso going on. Buyback is there. He might try to do something. Losing Beam. And he's still able to pick off the Darks here. But can he get more? Has to go back to base. Will go back to base. Losing Beam. Going to follow up. And the track is there. If this is going to be a kill. Oh, it is going to be a kill. But Dad. Dad. Dad tight bringing damage. Was enough to bring back the Luna for the second time around. And that is just not the way you want to see it if you're uh, on the side of Dominant Gaming. It's your carry. But a track kill nonetheless, I guess, slight, slightly in favor. And Tinker actually has Boots to Travel, my bad. He has nothing left. Uh, but he can start the Martin Machine War. He can, start, he can start the rest of the game, basically, for him. 
if you're a tinker, the, the game is two po two phases for you. One is, of course, you want to be able to uh, well, to get your boost to travel up. Farming for your boost to travel, number one. And two is, you want to, uh, well, after you get your boost to travel, you want to just continue spam march to the machines, TP back. Spam march to the machines, TP back. Spam march to the machines, TP back. And continuously doing so until Double you make sure that your opponent cannot farm anywhere safely. You get more and more farm. You get a, a sheep stick up, for example. Maybe even a side of the vise. Maybe a yule scepter. All those items, because they will be refreshed with your rearm. And you will be able to just spam them out. So for him, the rest of the game has started. Let's see if they can actually make it through, though, because... I mean... It's gonna be tough. It's gonna definitely be tough. There is a. Uh, it is not easy to come back from a deficit of 12k gold, over 12k gold even already, going towards the 13 slash 14 more. 10k experience in their favor as well. And there, I mean, of course, Fnatic North America. And it is hard to come back from that one. It is not impossible. We've seen it before. We have seen it before. If it's going to be successful, it remains to be seen, especially since Luna, even though she's, of course, the highest farmer up on her team, she is still behind three heroes of Fnatic NA. And that's quite a lot of farm behind. There wasn't a hero there, was there? No, thank you. I was going to say, pretty painful if there was. But at least they got the, um, the neutral. I was trying to stack the ancients here. That are um, gonna be taken down. Gold going the way of uh, Fnatic. One going the way of Derp. One going the way of Tobacco. Tobacco? Tobacco? There you go. Ooh, they know he's here and they see him and they kill him. That's a pretty fast kill and it does lead me to believe that they have got a Gem of Truth. I guess they do. Whitebeard has got one because no Sentry Wars here, but Gem of Truth will do the job just as well. And that was a nice introduction to that gem. As in, welcome to our, uh, inside our team. We've got a gem, you're dead. Demonic Purge up on Bleak King, can they go for him? Look at that damage! And there's a song. Stopping everything. Tobacco has to be careful, gets his salve. We'll be up to full growth going in, and they want to go for these three right here. Bow hits on all three. One dead! Is it gonna be two dead? Yes, there is! Jakiro gets both last hits! And there's the X-Mark Spox and the Torrent to follow up on, and that's another kill. We go in the way of Fnatic this time, and goes to the Kunka though. Three quick kills in quick succession of each other, and I mean, with that song, that's just a perfect setup. Macropire, boat flying in, sailing in rather. There's nothing you can do against that. Tinker, Martian Machines, trying to do what he can. Is it already too late is the question. 21 minutes in, and Fnatic backs off. Still no, still no barracks, still no tier 3. Lincoln's ready at 3,400 gold already up on the inventory of the tobacco already. Mm. Pipe being built up by the Darkseer. Gonna have a pipe and a mechanism. Mechanism already complete, of course. Let's see if we check out some more of the items. We haven't got anything else about a Tinker, of course. We saw him building this earlier on Thor. Gonna be safe. Gonna be safe. He's got an urn charge with the z or an, ur an urn with zero charges, rather. We still see the BKB being built up by the Luna. And exclamation marks upon the tier 2. Last one standing on the side of Dominant Gaming. In the meantime, by the way, all towers standing on the side of Fnatic are still standing. Every single one of them. The tier 1 is lowest. But it's still there. It is still there. Let's see though. Sentry Ward goes up, even though they have the gem, just in case. Disruption there. There are more ice path following up on that one, and the illusions alone might be able to do the job, and they get it. Of course, the real uh, tobacco hopping out there slightly as well as the eclipse goes through. Darkseer will there as well. Can he do something before it goes down? No, he cannot. Still a lot of damage to Whitebeard, but the mechanism there on uh, the Darkseer helps out. So we've got the tower being picked up. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. And they actually back off again. Could try to go for Roshan, on a normal. Um, result of Dyer's picking up all the towers tower and then just, you know, going for Rosha and making sure that when you are ahead, you stay ahead. And 
the meantime, Tinker trying to do what he can, but you know, he was not on the bottom lane when he might have been needed there. He's got 1800 gold. He tries to push out top slightly, but to no uh, avail. Nothing uh, they got in return for that their uh, tier 2 tower in the bottom lane. It was not a bargain that they would want to make. Roshan has and there's indeed Kunkka to the, the ages. And he's got himself a deadless, he's got 1600 gold, he is a happy Kunkka. Now normally you see a Shadow Blade as well there. But Shadow Blade's actually slightly nerfed. The burst damage at the start of uh, when you come out of invisibility is... There's received a slight nerf, but still very powerful, I have to say. And with this lineup, the lineup that they have, with the heroes they're facing, and the way this game is going, they don't. Even, he doesn't actually need a Shadow Blade for anything else but that extra damage. And he rather goes for a Deadless than first. So I respect his choice. It's, uh, it's a very logical Double choice. Damage. I mean, they are ahead. He can walk off the targets and hit them. That's uh, how ahead they are. So we have got the Radiance, maybe still being built up by the Naga Siren. Relic is up on there. So it could be a logical choice. Might actually be already finished, and indeed it is. And there's the Radiance. And still no tier 3 towers going down. Power is under attack. In the meantime, also, I mean, Fnatic, they're just. They're just making sure that the whole map is going to be theirs. They've got sentry wards, they've got Dyer's normal wards everywhere. Attack. Even inside the base of their enemy, they have got wards. And they just want to make sure that they got all fronts covered and that their opponents cannot farm anywhere without them knowing it. And if they know it, they'll probably do something about it. Rockets on track. Some extra damage to, uh, to Whitebeard, but... Not love to be uh, lethal in any case. It looks like they're gonna try to uh, split push slightly. March of the machines will make sure it's gonna be tough though. At the same time, I mean, yes, there is a turtle lineup on the side of Dominant Gaming. They have the March of the Machines, they've got the Lishrak, Lightning, Edict, they've got um, Fate Bolt, should not be underestimated. But. They're also n not doing anything in the meantime. Like normally, you 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 know. Oh wait a second! So I'm to set things up. Who are they gonna go for? Macrofire hits on three. Ice path as well. Both flying in, and that's gonna be four kills already. And the one only left alive is the Tinker. And Tinker, he's on his way back to base. Let's see if he can make it. I don't think so. Team wipe. GG. Well played. Gets called out. What I was saying is that nobody else was farming on the side of Dominant Gamer, they were just waiting for their Doom, and the Doom indeed came, and it's Fnatic that was just dominant in this game. Uh, we are going to see We as Asian taking on My Revenge after this one. We as Asian, of course, a team that we know, old German team. And, uh, of course, My Revenge, we saw them in the previous game. It's the new team of Dread, and I'm sure a lot of you people are waiting for that one. As, um, that is the game that we will be seeing shortly. As soon as either the throne falls or everybody disconnects. Vako is still having fun killing off some uh, some heroes. And his team is just wanting to do uh, this. The only one left inside the game is the Rubik on the side of Dominant Gaming, so we'll see that one. Radiant middle barracks have fallen. More GG while plays get called out. Just because they can. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They want to go for this. Let's see then. Shadow Blade actually still up on the Kunkka. Vacuum into both. Into crit perhaps. Three for the Kunkka, three for the Naga Siren. They weren't happy with that Radiance one. Middle tower is under attack. Almost died though. Still fine. I'm back with the tide. Radiance You're not back with the tide. You're back with the ages. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Middle tower has fallen. Anyway, I need to get some water. Why I'm a bit more quiet because I just need to drink some water because I feel my my throat is um, 
Need it. Ah, there we go. So stick around. We as Asian taking on my revenge after this game. Make sure you stay tuned because that should be a very uh, even match, unlike the match that we've seen so far. Anyway, be right back.